So Acadian, with record-breaking temperatures being filled across Acadian, the team at Opelousas General is seeing an increase in dehydration and other heat-related issues. Here's News 10 Zeng Hoag, who spoke to medical professionals to find out how people can actually beat the heat. With the number of heat-related patients rising at Opelousas General, staff members are sharing the most important ways to beat the heat and stay hydrated. In the past two weeks, we've had at least 16 cases of dehydration and heat exhaustion. Um, we've actually even seen some severe sunburns coming through the ER. As feel like temperatures reach as high as 115 degrees, Dr. Christopher Mott says dehydration cases are increasing especially in older residents across Acadiana. Our patient population in particular around Opelousas and Acadiana is one that's aging and they're on a lot of medicines. Some of those medicines involve diuretics, a uh, type of medication that causes you to lose fluid. While older residents are experiencing the increase in dehydration, younger residents working outdoors are experiencing sunburns as severe as second-degree burns, resulting in visible blisters. Mott says these burns can be common in instances where the sun's UV index reaches over level 3. These levels have been seen throughout the workday all week. But what steps can people take to try and prevent these harmful effects? Block sunscreen, like I said, SPF 15 or higher um, is, is necessary. Also wearing uh, long sleeve clothing that's lightweight, water, electrolyte containing substances, Pedialyte, things with salt in it. And also make sure you have a thermometer at home. Because heat stroke by definition is when your core body temperature gets or approaches 104 degrees. Mott also suggests residents be mindful of their bodies and be aware of the symptoms that come with too much heat exposure. Uh, they can have nausea, vomiting, headaches, dizziness, swelling in your legs, um, all the way up to heat exhaustion and uh, you know, heat stroke. Mott says if you or a loved one begin to experience any of these heat-related symptoms, the most important thing to do is get inside and call 911. In Opelousas, I'm Zane Hogue for KLFY News 10. And doctors at Opelousas General also advise anyone experiencing heat-related illness to cool their body temperature with a cold bath while waiting on medical attention.